Hello and welcome to Centurion's Corner and today we are going to be building something extra for the diorama and today it is this lovely little barrel. So stay tuned and watch me how I create. So first of all you want to run to the bog and grab yourself a toilet roll and then measure it up. I'm just looking at Peter Parker here, kind of class him as a standard human in Marvel Legends. It's about 8 centimeters. So what we want to do is mark 8 centimeters just slightly around the toilet roll. You don't have to do a line, just do little marks here, there and everywhere. So once you've made enough marks, so you're not going to cut downwards into the toilet roll and you're going to do a nice straight line, cut down to two of those markers and then cut off the remaining part of the toilet roll in a nice straight line. So grabbing the back side of a cereal packet, what you want to do is mark around the actual toilet roll. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's not straight or fully round, as long as it covers the bottom, that's all you're worrying about. So once done, you can actually go around again, that's what I've done here, just making it more circular. Cut it all out, and then what we're going to do is just glue it onto the bottom of the toilet roll. So now I'm actually using uh, the little flap on the top of a seal box because one end is already cut nice and straight already. So I'm just going to cut in from there. So from there you want to actually make four 0.5 centimeter marks. And then when you've got all four, you want to cut them all out. So now you've got your four strips, what you want to do is actually glue them to the actual toilet roll itself. Uh, do the strip at the bottom first, just to make sure that you cut that seam so it's not really showing that bottom base that we've stuck on there. And then do the top, and then do the ones in the middle. I haven't actually measured this, I mean you can do it yourself, you can work it out, but i kind of just done it by eye. You could even put your thumb down and use it as a spacer, it's entirely up to you. So I'm using quite a strong glue here. It's probably highly not recommended for anything like this. I would recommend like a PVC glue or maybe even something like a Pritt stick. Um, but this glue here, it's really strong. That's why I'm using gloves because I'm so messy when it comes to it. It could be something very minor and I will still get glue on my fingertips. Once glued all the way around, then all you've got to do is make sure that the two ends meet and then snip off the excess. So that's the actual base of the barrel completed. Now we're just going to actually just paint it. I'm using orange and red, no particular paints here, just my normal acrylic artist paints. You can go to the works, you can go to the range, any kind of cheap ones will do. Uh, and then just splash it on. Make sure you've got a little bit of water in there, not too much. You don't want to make the actual toilet roll too soggy. And just cover it. I've gone from light oranges, then I went to deeper red over the top of it. Uh, and then I decided that I'm going to black wash over the top. So it doesn't really matter, it doesn't have to be a full coat of the Zatka the same because it's going to look all muddy, beaten up and scuffed. So just add to it, it doesn't matter if you screw it up you can repaint it and more paint on the top actually makes it stronger. So yay to mistakes. I've completely covered it in kind of like reddy orange. Uh, it's a little bit more red on the camera here. It wasn't that red. Um, so now I'm just putting a bits of splashes of black. Same what we've done with the walls, just to give it a little bit of wear and tear. In the end, I actually just kind of covered it even more. I kind of like the colour of it, to be honest with you. Um, so once done, I then add a little bit more kind of black wash on there and then let it dry. Thank you. 
So once dry, then I'm just going to add a little bit more black wash over the top of it. It's not actually a black wash, it's more of like a dry brush. Uh, just adding little specks of black just over the certain areas, over the raged bits. So it kind of just looks like a little bit of sort of damaged over the time. Um, maybe on the bits that are more jutting out, so the actual strips that we've added on there, just scrape over the black there. Once I was happy with the black, I actually went over the black bits with little bits of silver. And then again, I'll repeat the process to drum down the silver, add a bit of black on there. It's all about layering, it's all about weathering uh, and stuff like that. And once you're finished, it looks pretty cool, to be honest. So now a bit more black, I'm just going underneath those little layers that we added on there just to give it a little bit more kind of punch when we're taking that picture, it actually looks like it's standing out more so it's giving it that fake shadow. And um, yeah, that's kind of the barrel finish. You can either finish it there or at the end I actually put a little bit of green goo so it kind of looks like something's running out that the lizard is creating something or something like that. Uh, I didn't pull it all around because I could just turn it around, it'd be a normal barrel. Or I could face it the other way and it looks like it's being used for some chemical waste. So obviously it doesn't have to be green, you can use red, you can use yellow, it's entirely up to you. And uh, just make sure you get those little drips that are going down and obviously as the drips will go down it will congregate around so it'll be a little bit larger on the next layer and then thin down again so yeah just look at water as it runs down just imagine it if it was real uh, and just mark it on there and then you'll have a really nice effect And that is pretty much it. All you got to do now is put it to one side, let it dry, and then you can place it into your diorama. And here is Ben Riley showing off his new barrel in the new diorama piece there. And I think actually it's turned out quite well from considering it what used to be a bog roll that was going to go straight into the recycle bin. So thank you so much for joining me on this one. Let me know what else you would like to see and there'll be more tutorials coming out. So don't forget to subscribe, ding that bell, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.